You are listening to Standards in 10 Minutes from The Standard Show, the podcast that brings you the stories behind the standards with Matthew Childs and Cindy Parrigan. Hello, my name is Matthew Childs. And I'm Cindy Parakil. And this Standard in 10 Minutes is ISO IEC 27001, the international standard for information security management. Here are 10 things you need to know. Number one, what the standard is all about. These days, you simply can't be too careful when it comes to information security. Protecting personal records and commercially sensitive information is absolutely critical for organisations. ISO IEC 27001 is the international standard on how to manage information security. The standard specifies the requirements for establishing, implementing, maintaining and continually improving an information security management system or ISMS within the context of the organisation. Now this specific context is influenced by the organisation's needs and objectives, its security requirements, the policies and processes it uses and also the size and structure of the organization, factors which will naturally change over time. And by using ISO IEC 27001 over time, organizations protect three important aspects of the information they use and store. Confidentiality. Only authorized persons have the right to access the information. Integrity. Only authorized persons can change the information. And availability. The information must be accessible to authorised persons whenever it is needed. Number two, why the standard is important. Without doubt, information and knowledge have become one of the 21st century's most important assets. Indeed, for many organisations, information and knowledge are the most valuable assets and they are often particularly vulnerable. So... Because of this, it is important that organizations protect the information they hold and risks to the security of these valuable assets exist now more than ever. Cyber attacks have become more prevalent and sophisticated, supply chains are more complex, and the volume of important information held by organizations continues to increase. There can be human errors too. So, an information security management system is the method of choice to manage these risks. Number three, who the standard is for. Well, really, any organisation with information. The requirements set out in ISO IEC 27001 are generic and are intended to be applicable to all organisations, regardless of their type, size or nature or the industry in which they operate. So it's applicable and useful for online gaming providers, for schools, colleges, or universities, for banks, insurance companies, or other financial institutions, or for hospitals and other healthcare service providers. Number four, part of a family of standards. ISO IEC 27001 is part of the 27000 series or family of standards. Commonly known as ISO 27K, the family covers a broad range of information security standards published by both the International Organization for Standardization or ISO and the International Electrotechnical Commission or IEC. Currently, there are more than a dozen standards in the ISO IEC 27000 family covering areas such as how an organization can set its information security objectives and guidelines for cloud computing. Using them enables organizations of any kind to manage the security of assets such as financial information, intellectual property, employee details, or information entrusted by third parties. Number five, how the standard works. Most organizations have a number of information security safeguards or controls. These typically address certain aspects of information technology or data security specifically, leaving non-IT information assets such as paperwork less protected on the whole. So without an information security management system, controls tend to be somewhat disorganized and disjointed having been implemented often as solutions to specific situations or simply as a matter of convention. 
Therefore, ISO IC 27001 is based on a process for managing risks, finding out where those risks are, and then systematically treating them through the implementation of security controls. Number six, what the standard asks an organization to do. Put simply, ISO IEC 27001 requires that the management of an organization does three things. First, to systematically examine the organization's information security risks, taking account of the threats, vulnerabilities and impacts. Second, to design and implement a coherent and comprehensive suite of information security controls or other forms of risk treatment to address those risks that are deemed unacceptable. And third, to adopt an overarching management process to ensure that the information security controls continue to meet the organization's information security needs on an ongoing basis. Number seven, how it works alongside other standards. Because ISO IEC 27001 takes a management systems approach to information security, it can be integrated with other management system standards, such as ISO 9001 for quality management and ISO 14001 for environmental management for even better results. This is thanks to what's known as the harmonized structure, which means that as documents, Management system standards are structured in the same way. This feature is particularly useful for organizations that choose to operate a single or integrated management system, one that can meet the requirements of two or more management system standards at the same time. Number eight, certification against the standard. Organizations can also choose to be certified against the standard ISO IEC 27001. But like for other ISO management system standards, certification is not obligatory. Certification means the provision by an external and independent body of written assurance, a certificate, that the system in question meets the requirements of the standard. Organizations may choose to undergo certification to demonstrate to its customers, clients and stakeholders their commitment to quality products and services, that they are a trusted supplier or that they are committed to information security management. In order to maintain certification against ISO IEC 27001, organizations must undergo a review every three years. Number nine, the people involved in developing the standard. ISO IEC 27001 is developed and managed through Subcommittee 27 of JTC1, or Joint Technical Committee 1, a joint committee of two international standards organisations, ISO and IEC. Created in 1989, JTC1 Subcommittee 27 develops standards for the protection of information. Though its members are national standards bodies, the people sitting around the table developing the standards are representatives from businesses, government and other public agencies, trade associations, academia and other key stakeholders. This diversity of stakeholder involvement is critical. It ensures there is a broad-based, open and balanced representation in the standards development process and that all views and perspectives are heard. Number 10. Review and Revision Like all international standards, ISO IEC 27001 undergoes a review at least once every five years to decide whether it is still valid or needs updating. This is a really important process because it ensures that the standard remains relevant and meets the needs of its users and beneficiaries around the world. So, there you have it. A standard in 10 minutes. ISO IEC 27001. Information Security Management. You have been listening to Standards in 10 Minutes from The Standard Show. Subscribe to us now wherever you get your podcasts. You just heard a stripped media production.